Hi, anyone. My name is Victoria Harrington, and this is Visually Happening. Anyone who was transitioning eventually did the big chop because their hair would get so healthy at the top, and their ends were so frayed that whether it was six months in or a year in, they eventually did it. So I figured, why wait? What's the point in waiting for my hair, the top to look awesome and the bottom to look frayed if I can just do it all now? Whoa, <laughs> that was a long time ago. Um, hey anyone, thanks for coming back to my channel. I'm Victoria Harrington. This is Visually Growing and all of this is Visually Happening. So, um, wow, a lot has changed since my first video. I can really sense my, uh, my insecurity <laughs> in what I was doing. And, um, wow, it's just so weird to look back because it was, I edited it so, like, badly and... I mean, granted, whatever, it's the first one, you know. So, um, almost like a week ago uh, was my two-year anniversary since that video, since I chopped all my hair off and began on this, uh, this journey on uh, healthy curly hair. And I wanted to sort of touch base on my experience uh, with doing this. Um, so if you didn't see that first video, um, Check it out, it gives a nice, um, really meekish insight into why I started doing this channel. Yeah, I just wanted this video to be about that. Also on top of this, I also wanna keep this um, pretty brief. I have a more detailed um, article linked in the description box below on what I've learned in the last two years since I cut all my hair off. Um, so it's down there if you wanna check that out. I'm going to be discussing uh, my thoughts on my journey in uh, in three different ways. So the first one, um, I'm going to I want to go over what the original intention of this channel was. Uh, the second one will be what I've learned since um, I've been doing this, and the third one will basically be a shortened, condensed list of tips on what I've learned, what's worked for me, and how you could go forward on what you were doing. So um. Yeah, let's get started. The original intention of this channel was very simply that um, I wanted to do a diary type update every month on how my hair growing process was going simply, simply because I didn't see anyone else doing it. I saw a lot of videos that had um, before and during and after pictures of people who chopped all their hair off and what they eventually looked like, but no one was telling me how I was gonna get there, um, what products to use, what kind of maintenance and, and care to put into it. And uh, so I decided to go through and be the guinea pig of that for anyone else who's curious about chopping all their hair off and what to expect and blah, blah, blah. On top of that, I wanted to do it in uh, the most budget-friendly way possible. I, I wanted to find products that you can find at CVS, Walgreens, anything that's nearby that would uh, give you the, your best bang for your buck. And um, while the intentions of it were pure and good, um, I quickly found that I wasn't finishing all the products within a month. And for the sake of this channel and what I was doing, I wanted to try new products every month. And at one point, it was about six months in, I had so many products sitting on my shelf. More than the amount of them were products that I didn't even want to use again, ones I really didn't care about. And a couple of them I still really liked. So there came a point where it was like, all right, am I gonna just keep spending money on these products um, every month and not even give my hair a chance. Cause I think that was what the biggest problem was, was that um, I wasn't even giving the products that I was using a chance to actually set in and work with my hair or not. Well, that's really when I took a back seat. That's really when I, um, I needed to take a, a beat and figure out what it was I wanted to do with this channel because most YouTubers, um, which while, while this is the smarter way to go about it, they have videos ready on deck, I, I didn't. I, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I was filming as I went along and um, it became very crazy and hasty when it came for crunch time, when it came for uploads, why I was so late so often because um, I wasn't happy with how haphazard um, my process was going and so that was partly, partially why I took that break when I did and I had to really reevaluate and re-figure out what it was that I really wanted to do with this channel and what was something that I could put out that would make me happy because um, at the end of it, creators and audience alike, we only want to be involved in things that make us happy and I wasn't happy um, 
freaking out trying to buy new products just for the sake of buying new products every month. Um, so I wanted to do what was working for me. So that was what I learned with this channel. The ironic part of it was that the things that I was doing was actually helping my hair growth. And so that's sort of how I want to end this video is to sort of break down a pretty decent list on what I've been doing that has actually helped the process. I know that my hair looks really short right now, but I went four months without uh, getting a haircut, and so a lot of that ends up being cut off. But I'm telling you, if you've seen from that very first video, this is progress, and I'm really, really, really happy about it. Some of the tips that I'd like to give at the two year mark is, um, one, if you are going to do the big chop, please go to a curl specialist salon, hairstyles, anything. Make sure that you start um, with a curly cut. Um, it makes the process going forward a lot easier. So I'd say start with that. Number two, you have to deep condition every week. I can't stress that enough. There have been so many, not so many, but plenty enough of uh, one day a week that I would miss deep conditioning and you can really feel it in your hair. You can really see it in your hair um, and that's part of what's gonna help make it grow. So find a deep conditioner that you like, find a way to heat it. Um, I am using the Hothead Thermal Care um, and that's been working for me really well. Um, you can still do the hair dryer underneath. Just find something that works for you and commit, stick with it. Um, so that's number two. Number three um, that I would give is use an oil and give yourself a scalp massage again once a week. If you wanna make your life a little easier, do it right before you deep condition. That way you're doing them both. You're still getting your once a week in, but you're getting them together and just fusing them together. For me, it's an easier way for me to remember like what I'm doing and to actually do it in the once a week. So um, I would absolutely recommend giving yourself a scalp massage. Uh, you'll need to give it uh, three to five minutes. There are other, I'm using the, uh, the Wild Growth, is that what it's called? I'm using the Wild Growth Light oil moisturizer that I was using in September. I wasn't doing it the way I was doing it in September where I was doing it every day. I'm just do, now doing it once a week with my deep conditioner. And um, anytime that you can open up your pores um, and bring oils in that is meant to help your hair is always gonna be a good bet. Just find something that works for you. There are holistic oils you can use. You don't have to use um, a store-bought brand. There, I think, you know, don't take my word for it, just look it up. Um, but give yourself an, uh, a scalp massage with oils, number three. And um, number four, um, I would, I really recommend taking supplements like biotin. Um, I'm currently now taking sugar bear hair. I can't even tell you if it works now because a lot of my hair got cut off, but in a month, I will let you know how effective it is. But I'd say taking supplements also helps aid in the process. So those are the big tips that I can break down for you on what I've learned. And that's gonna be it for this month. Um, I've got something coming up in two weeks. That's really fun, that's with Alex again. And then I got another thing coming up. I'm getting better, I'm telling you, I'm getting way better at this now. So I'm, I'm getting more excited and getting happier to share all this with you guys and the process that goes along with it. Thank you a million for watching again. Um, please leave any comments, suggestions, anything below. Like, comment, rate, subscribe all of the good stuff that everyone always asks you to do. Um, I'll see you guys in two weeks. Take care if you can, I'll see you then. Bye bye.